Hey y'all, this is Jay Paul with SERP Sonar. Let's take a look at the all in title search operator and some of the issues it's been having. Now, there were a couple of problems with this Google search operator over the last few years. Both are covered in the post on the SERP Sonar site linked below, but we're going to just focus on the main issue impacting searchers in 2022. Now, search operators are a feature of Google that allow you to search in a specialized way and bring back a filtered set of results. The all in title search operator uh, will allow you to search for any web pages with all of the search term words in the title in any order. So the keyword doesn't have to be in this exact order but all the words should be in the title tag of that web page. So let's see what happens when we use the search operator for this keyword. And um, when you use this or any of the Google search operators, make sure you don't put a space after the colon. Um, so you'll notice in this example that um, the first few titles, well, the first few titles the first few results really speak directly to the nature of the problem. Um, I'm not sure what the exact functionality from Google's standpoint is supposed to be for a featured snippet uh, when it comes to the all in title search operator, but either way, in this case, the title of this page is an all in title match. So our search term is what is SERP analysis, and this title has what is SERP and then the word analysis is over here. So that is an all in title match. It's not an exact match, but all the words are in the title. Uh, the next result is an exact match, which of course makes it an all in title match as well. So what is SERP analysis and how it benefits your strategy, your SEO strategy. Now the next result uh, speaks directly to the nature of the problem here. Uh, it's got SERP analysis, but the words what is are not in the title. And so strictly speaking, this should not be an all in title search result. Now it is topically relevant and well, the reason we use the all in title search operator in most cases, well, you can use it for research and, and you can do different things with it. But uh, the reason many folks in digital marketing use all in title is related to the keyword golden ratio or KGR keyword research method. So this process of identifying uh, keyword opportunities uh, includes using the all in title as a way to identify the number of pages that are competing for that keyword. And so we, we do the all in title search and then we look at the number of results at the top of the page. And so we assume though when we do the all in title search that the results that we get are going to be an all in title match. If they aren't an all in title match, uh, it's a problem in my opinion, but at least we would expect the, the results pages to be topically relevant. And in this case, it is. I, 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 if I was thinking about competing for the term, what is SERP analysis? I would uh, probably view this page from Mangles as a competing page. So that's okay. So let's scroll down and see what else we have. Um, how are your SERP competitors performing? Again, this is not an all in title match and I'm not sure it's even a relevant result for this search term. Uh, the next result, what is SERP analysis? Well, that's obviously a, a good all in title match. But if we continue to scroll down and you glance at the different titles, uh, okay, here's another result. Uh, I'm glad this result is here, of course. Uh, I'm always glad if SERP Sonar shows up in any kind of Google search result, but the home page to SERP Sonar really should not be coming up in an all entitled search for what is SERP analysis, okay? Um, and you can just glance at some of the other titles here and see that uh, uh, in fact many of these pages are probably not competing for this particular search term. But well at least most of the 
titles, just at a glance, are in the general category that we're talking about. They're in the um, they're in the digital marketing or um, SERP analysis or keyword research general category. Not all of them. There's there's a result here at the bottom that's completely off uh, off topic and uh, and another one here and and this is not a rare occurrence and so let's look at the next example to show you what I mean so we're gonna search here on why do buses come in threes so Google's telling us there's 29 all entitled results here uh, and the first few at a glance are obviously good matches uh, in fact there is a book why do buses come in threes um, this is a math related book and uh, if you've lived in a city or visited a city you may be familiar with this phenomenon of, of buses or streetcars um, getting bunched up and coming coming in groups uh, in any case um, as we scroll down we quickly see that the results start to kind of fall apart now we're not even we're barely a third of the way down if we look over on the right here we're barely a third of the way down the results page and we already start seeing some wacky results here so it's really unclear to me why something like uh, get to know Chris Stapleton's children all five of them would be something that would come up for why do buses come in threes um, or this page whatever this is about uh, how to make money investing in college um, not clear to me how Google decided to put this in the results and so it kinda gets worse from there uh, I won't go through them case by case but, but the point here is that barely a third of these results should be in the list and probably less of them are actual all entitled matches so the real number is not 29 here it's probably more like 10 maybe 12 uh, and if you are looking to do an all entitled search to get the number in order to use it in the KGR this becomes a problem okay let's look at another result here the search term here is how to end a presentation and ask for questions now I I, I chose this example here because this is a this is a search term that could easily be a um, it could be the title of a post right it's uh, it sounds natural to the human ear and it's a question that it's, that gets asked but it's also pretty long and you wouldn't be surprised if it was not actually uh, currently the title of a, of a uh, of a post and so um, we immediately find that there are some results that seem to be relevant but there are no all entitled results in fact if we at least if we go by what Google is giving us back here so how to end a presentation and ask for questions okay it's a question lots of people ask and they probably ask it in that in that way but no one if we're to believe Google has actually written a post and included all those words in the title and not only that but as we scroll down once again we see that there are uh, fewer there are fewer pages that actually have anything to do with this topic uh, what foods lower blood blood pressure and cholesterol now I've, I've done a lot of presentations I've spoken in front of folks and and I, I get nervous and maybe I get high blood pressure when I'm preparing for a talk but I don't think that blood pressure and cholesterol have much of anything to do with uh, giving a presentation and asking for questions and so um, it just sort of gets worse from there as you continue to scroll down so so let's see again if we just eyeball it and we look at the scroll bar on the right over here uh, maybe half half of these 19 are topically relevant and truthfully zero of these results are true all entitled matches okay let's just look at one more example to really put a fine point on this uh, so here we have the search 
uh, the, the key word, weight loss pills. And I laugh because anyone who's done affiliate marketing for any amount of time has probably come across this niche or uh, even thought about this uh, uh, or heard about this as a keyword. Uh, of course, in recent years with YMYL, uh, most people steer clear of this general category, but weight loss pills as a keyword search is it's insane. It's kind of the no-fly zone of keywords, I would I would say. And so it, it's bound to be so competitive uh, and so challenging to compete in uh, from a yeah, from a from a uh, Google EAT standpoint, uh, that most people would never get near it. And so if we do a loose search, uh, Google tells us there's three hundred and ninety six million results in their broader index. Uh, but if we glance down at the results here, we can see that there's a bunch of pages that have weight loss. Okay, so 12 popular weight loss pills. Um, here's, let's see, let's scroll a little further. Weight loss pills for women and men. Okay, this is Amazon. But so, so there, there are definitely some pages that have weight loss pills in the title, right? But if we do the all in title search, okay, Google tells us that out of, I don't know, whatever it was, you know, 300 and something million pages, only 19 are all in title. And the very first result is not all in title. And in fact, a bunch of the results that were at the top of the loose search aren't even showing up, even though they had weight loss pills, exact match in the title. And so, again, I, I have to wonder, like, what is broken at Google that an all-entitled search for something like this isn't returning well more than 19 results, 19 all-entitled results? And there's, there's going to be a lot of exact and all-entitled, proper all-entitled results that they could include, and yet it seems that they're not. So... There's something wrong with all in title. It's 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 uh, it's getting long in the tooth. I theorize that maybe part of the reason they uh, are returning sketchy results like this, maybe it could be that there are problems that they are just opting not to fix in order to discourage overuse of it. Uh, because every time someone uses one of these features like any search operator, uh, it, it requires machine resources on the part of, of Google. And, uh, uh, but whatever the reason is, what is it that we can do about it? Well, so I've been a fan of the keyword golden ratio, or KGR, for a long time. Uh, this keyword research strategy uh, focuses on long tail competition uh, long tail, low competition opportunities. And um, it's, I've had great success with it, uh, but it requires the all in title search operator. And it requires that we have accurate results uh, when we use it in order to plug into the KGR. And uh, this was one of the main reasons that I started to work on this project, uh, that I started to build SERP Sonar. And so in another video, I'm going to revisit these same keywords and I'm going to show how SERP Sonar can solve most of the problems uh, with this broken Google search operator issue. So please let me know your thoughts. Uh, please share your own experience with these all in title issues. And, uh, Provide any feedback of any kind, please, in the comments below. And I thank you for your attention, and I'll catch you on the next video.